How you feeling today, Erica? Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. Nature, he, he be heavy on his grind. He always has been, too. That's how we met, you know, so it's not surprising at all. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet. That's that. I, I had one to my niece. I can only imagine what it's like with that full leg cast. Stay medicated, mama, much as possible. <laughs> no, fuck no, not at all. Dopest female MC, probably Rage. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think Rage. I mean, Nikki's not even the same class with Rage. I would say Rage. Nikki, yeah, she's dope as an artist. I guess you know. What I mean, I like for me, I don't listen to a lot of commercial music. Like, if you're not talking about anything in particular, and it's just. A lot of lyrics that rhyme and some shit that sound good. Like, I don't get out a lot of place. So I don't even know a lot of Nicki's music, to be honest with you. I've heard a couple of songs, but I know lyrically she's not fucking with Ray. She's not fucking with the brat. You know, so, nah, I wouldn't say she's the dopest female MC. I would say she's the hottest female MC right now, though. I didn't listen to it yet. I ain't checked it out. I'm gonna check it out though, of course. I mean, I'm a Nas fan, but um, no, nah, I ain't listened to it yet. I, when I, like when I'm working, I don't want to get anybody else's music and vibe stuck in my head. You know what I mean? Because as an artist, that's that's one of the things that I prided myself on is like staying original, having my own sound and all that. So I don't want I don't want to do anything that sounds like anybody else. And when you're, when you're constantly listening to other music and recording, it's easy for that kind of shit to happen, you know. I've seen it happen to some of my homies that, that's been veterans, you know what I'm saying. Cats has been on millions of albums and shit and, you know, get around the vibe and, you know, they start emulating that vibe just because it's hot and it's what's popping, you know. So, yeah, nah, I, I, I try not to listen to it. But now that I'm finished with it, I'll definitely take a break and listen to some new music. I listen to a lot of independent artists, though. Like, I meet so many of them. I listen to more of that than anything. glasses on in a minute to look at this screen and shit. You know, everything get blurry after you turn 40. <laughs> of course. Yeah, that's the family, you know. that's That's been the family. Louisville on the album, actually. He on uh, the first song on the album, Louisville Slugger. But yeah, yeah, I, I always listen to them, man. Not just because they're the homies, but because uh, they're, they're dope. The music, what, they, what they were talking about to me was like that raw hip-hop. You know, so I, I always love this shit. My favorite Wu-Tang member? Um, I don't know. It's like a toss-up between Meth and Raekwon. And that purple tape of Raekwon's is, um, that was the reason, that, that was the reason. Plus, uh, you know, Raekwon actually came to our studio in Atlanta, man. He was considering recording, and when he did the uh, Only Built for Cuban Links too. he was considering recording it with me and my brother. He basically wanted, uh, he didn't want to be in a big studio, is what he said, so... A mutual friend connected him with us, man. He came by and checked us out. But he ended up going back to New York to finish the album. But, yeah, Raekwon, man, he, he's a dope-ass MC. All of them are dope, but Raekwon and Meth, I would say, um, would be one of my favorites. I don't know which one. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah, Ray is sick with it, man. He, he's a timeless dude. Like, he'll always be relevant as long as he wants to be. I mean, cause, cause Jay has control of that man, and he ain't starving for no money or nothing. And you know, I, I don't, I don't see a reason he would after all this time. And he said he would have did it by now, I'm sure. But who knows? He may. I'd definitely like to hear what he did with the rock, though. Pretty sure that was that was some next level shit. Nah, probably not. Seriously doubt that. That, that, that dude Puffy got a lock on that, I'm sure. You know, I don't even really, like for me, I don't even really care much to hear music after an artist is gone. You know, like, because it's, it's, it's a different feeling. I listen to it, but I'm not excited about it because it's not the same, like, so I don't know. It's just uh, it's, it's like doing a lot of remixes, you know, from a DJ's perspective. You know, artists don't even have to be involved in it. So I don't know. But I mean, those are original joints, so it would be dope if he could. But I, I seriously doubt he can. Like him? Yeah, I would bank on that. God MC, he gotta he gotta do it. He gotta do it. I would definitely love to hear that, man. Like, I would say Rakim definitely would have been in my top five. He just hadn't released something so long that, you know, I'm still stuck on this super old shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even really get into that album he did on Aftermath. I don't even know if it ever got released, but the songs that I heard from it, I didn't even really get into that too much. Green. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. What well, I, I think Mo Prim's still working. I saw I saw um I don't know if it was old or new, but I saw some promotion for a, a joint that he was on semi recently. So I definitely wouldn't doubt it, man. Like Mo Prim, he still got it in him. He'll still put something out. A lot of cats just, you know, switching their speed up, but it's in them. They they're not gonna ever just lay it all the way down. Plus, Mo Prim was the first one to really, you know, hop on a major joint. You know what I'm saying? Out of out of the whole collective group of, of individuals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's already, he's already made history with that. I'm sure he'll he'll come back and double back and bring us something new. Strictly dope. Uh, one of the homies, he right here, he right here in North Cal. We talk all the time. Uh, I'm not sure about the other members, but yeah, one of one of them is still here, still actively working and recording. And you know, we got uh, the label is GDP Music, I believe it is. Yeah, he's still pushing, man. He's doing a lot of shit up here.
What was Eminem's last album? What was the name of it? I'm, I'm almost certain I didn't hear it. I be tu I be really tuned out on hip hop, man. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I like to listen to stuff that's gonna that's gonna uh, work with what's going on in my vibration at the moment, man. So usually it's very relaxing music. Nephew, what up, man? It's going down with you. So I'm not even sure if I heard Eminem's last album, but I I am a fan of the dude. The dude is literally a fucking uh, he's a mastermind. Dope as shit.